Let's talk about the weather right now on this Monday as we take a live look over downtown Hickory, courtesy of Earth Cam, and we're tracking just a few showers in the mountains and foothills right now with, uh, with the risk of some being severe thunderstorms. Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane is here with where these storms are going to be heading next, Tara. Yes, they're all moving through from west to east, the normal kind of trajectory here with these. And uh, while most of the mountains and foothills have kind of cleared out for now, we look out toward, say, Rutherford County and dropping down toward the upstate, we have a line of severe storms that's moving east in that direction. So if that holds together, that could be heading right for you all there in Cleveland County. That would be next in line and maybe if it holds together long enough, York County or Gaston County. So we'll be tracking that. But the majority of the activity now is heading more east of Charlotte. As we zoom into a couple of spots here, this is not severe, but certainly some heavy batches of rain moving through Rockingham right now and out toward Hamlet Way and Route 1 and out toward Morvan Eastern uh, Anson County. And then we do have a severe thunderstorm for Davidson County there. Uh, moving toward Lexington at the tail end of that, we have some of that moderate rain that's been moving past Salisbury, but that's just about out of here, passing off to the east. And a couple more a weakening shower that developed earlier over eastern Catawba County. That's now kind of fizzling out, just a few leftover sprinkles over Cheryl's Ford. So scattered activity today with plenty of heat, plenty of humidity, all of this coming in ahead of a cold front back off to the west that will knock back the humidity, mainly not so much the heat for the middle and latter part of the week. But until that happens, we do still have that risk of severe storms for another few hours the rest of this evening through 8, 9 o'clock or so. If we do get anything severe developing, damaging wind gusts would be the main threat. And maybe some brief flooding, too, with the downpours leading to some pining, of course, on the roads. But boy, those temperatures today, of course, another big part of the weather story, the heat advisory that's in effect. The actual air temperature is at 95 in the Queen City. And with those extremely muggy conditions, dew points are in the mid 70s, of course, it feels hotter, but mainly outside of the mountains. The mountains are sitting in the comfortable low and mid 70s, but with that heat advisory in effect until 8 o'clock from Charlotte south and east, it's because of this. It's because it could be potentially dangerous heat if you just do not take it easy outside and use common sense and stay hydrated. Take some breaks when you can. Don't overexert yourself. It feels like 102, 107 or so in a lot of areas where, yes, we haven't had any cooling rain passing through just yet. And a lot of you will stay mostly dry for the rest of this evening. Later on tonight, temperatures only back off. Look at that, only into the mid upper 70s. That's what you'll be waking up to tomorrow morning and another hot one on the way for tomorrow. In fact, again, south and east of Charlotte will be under another heat advisory with those feels like temperatures up above 100, topping out in the low to mid 90s ahead of any cooling showers or storms. And you can see those future heat indices, those feels like temperatures again, mainly south and east of Charlotte in the lower 100s for another day. Now, as for the storms, the rest of tonight, anything that does develop will move through from west to east and then kind of clear out mostly by midnight or so. However, with that approaching cold front from back off to the west, we could still see some rain for you all in the higher elevations. So some of you in the mountains could be waking up to some scattered showers, maybe an isolated storm before we could see more blossoming activity as the front moves through tomorrow afternoon and evening from Charlotte and again points east. And some of that activity could last into early Wednesday as well with the front not moving very far away from us. Now, damaging wind gusts and hail will again be the two main threats. Notice a somewhat higher risk of severe storms out toward the central and eastern part of the state in that yellow zone for tomorrow. Mountains and foothills, not as high of a severe risk for tomorrow as what we've seen out there today. Behind that front, the muggy meter drops significantly back in the comfy zone for later in the week, but temperatures will still be on the hot side. It will just not be talking about those high feels like temperatures later in the week. So we're at 95 for tomorrow. 89 on Wednesday with that drop in humidity and back in the low 90s, but still not quite as humid for later in the week.